Hey guys, good morning. My name is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, no, no, no. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Melissa. I make videos about everything, pretty much everything. Finances, budgeting, fitness, nursing, lifestyle, pretty much whatever I want to film is what I make. Unless I have a special request from you, then I will film that. So this video is my morning routine as a nurse. This is what I do every single morning to get ready for work. Some of you don't know, I am a registered nurse. I do work in a perioperative unit. My commute to work is about 23 minutes from my house. So it's not bad, it's really close. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're always notified every time I upload a video. First thing I do, well, you'll see, you'll see what I do. I'm not a morning person. So Melissa, if you're not a morning person, why are you working day shift? Because, Susan, I am not a night person either. I'm a mid-afternoon, get up and go kind of gal, but I can't find any shifts like that. So, if you can find a shift that allows me to start at 10 a.m. and get out by 3 p.m. and pay me for 12 hours, drop it in the comments because I am going to apply. So most of my morning routine takes place the night before. I have to prep everything. I'm methodical about it. I have to have everything set out for my coffee. I have to have my little tote bag, junk bag, whatever it is for work laid out, my drink cup, my snacks, my lunch, my scrubs, everything has to be laid out. So one good thing about working on my unit is that we do have to wear hospital issued scrubs. So. Technically, what we are supposed to be doing is wearing our clothes into the hospital, changing into these scrubs, and then changing back into our clothes before we head home. Now, your girl does not like to wash laundry. So when I was orienting, I brought a pair of scrubs home that I could wear to work. So what I do is I put on the scrubs that I have at home, wear those to work, put on a clean pair of scrubs, then I change at the end of my shift before I come home. That seems to really work for me. My, um, what's going on with this camera? Anyways, I apologize for the lighting. It's like five something in the morning. The lighting is pretty bad in this entire video just because it's just my camera. I'm not, put, I'm not busting out any lights, setting up any lighting, any ring lights, studio lights, anything like that. No, it's just harsh light of life. It's the real light. And yes, I am aware that I have big old bags under my eyes, but you know what? I'm a nurse, that's why I got them. I don't know, let me say. Nursing gives me bags, my kids gave me the gray hair. I'm gonna do a voiceover through this video. I just try to go through my regular routine as I normally would before going to work so that you can see exactly what I do. This is realistic. I don't do any of this, um, wake up in the morning and I, and I stretch and I meditate and I journal, I wish. I wish I was that kind of person. I wish I had the time in the morning. I wish that I could wake up that early and do all of those things and still be able to get ready for work and leave on time. But it's just not realistic. I did try it once. I did try getting up a little bit early, but it's like, you know what? I got up, I would get up at like 4.30 in the morning, get myself all situated to meditate. And then you know what? I fall back asleep because meditation relaxes me. I'm, I can't use it to energize myself. I don't know. I'm new to meditating, so maybe I'm not doing it right. I'm hitting the wrong button. I don't know what it is, but 
it makes me go back to sleep. So I avoid that in the mornings. I gotta just get up, get dressed, get my coffee, get my stuff and go. That's what I gotta do. Let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments. What are some things that you do in the morning that kind of help you get up and go? I need all of the tips. I need something. If someone has a tip that would allow me to get up on time, feel refreshed and rejuvenated and excited for my day, get all of the stretching, meditating, intention setting stuff I need to get done in the morning, get dressed, have a great hair day and not have to wear a bun, get all my stuff together and get out the door on time and to work, please let me know, please put me on so I can elevate my morning routine. <sighs> I am crazy in the morning. I'm as crazy as my hair in the morning. It doesn't matter. All my patients are sedated. They don't care what I look like. This is literally how every single work morning begins. And don't mind my messy hair because I shower the night before and I don't like straighten my hair or do anything to it. Honestly, I go to bed with wet hair and then I result in waking up to a rat's nest. So that's what you're gonna get. First thing I always check is to see if my shift got canceled. I mean, if you're a nurse, you know the struggle. I'm not the only one who probably feels this way, right? <laughs> no such luck this morning, unfortunately. I have a few of the same thoughts that go through my head each morning. First thing I do is head to the bathroom. A few moments later. Now to practice good hand hygiene. Now as a nurse, we all try to cluster our activities and I try to do the same thing at the sink every morning. So everything that I can do at the sink, I will do it, like brush my teeth. Now it's time to rinse my face. I don't have a morning like face washing routine. I wash my face at night before I go to bed. So in the mornings, I just rinse it with water, apply toner and moisturizer, and that seems to work well for my skin.
Now this is the only facial moisturizer that I use and I only use it on days that I work because the air in the hospital is really drying and now that I'm a little bit older, my skin is a little on the drier side and I found that this facial moisturizer really keeps my face moisturized for the full 12 hours. And it's really light, it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy or oily and I really like it. This is the closest thing I get to wearing makeup at work. I just put some chapstick on. I mean, there's really no point in wearing any makeup. We're all in masks. It's gonna get sweated off, so might as well just skip it and save me some time. I definitely wanna make sure I don't smell though, so I like to put on deodorant in the morning. That is the worst transition ever. So now I'm gonna put on my compression socks. The trick to putting on compression socks is rolling the sock all the way down to the foot part, inserting your foot, and then pulling the sock up onto your leg. Took many, many years of trial and error, and this is the best method I have found to putting on my compression socks in the morning. I think it's so funny that I get asked all the time how I'm able to create my messy bun. And it's really so simple. Like, look at how effortless this is. But if you would like me to film a hair tutorial on how I do my super fancy messy bun, let me know and I'll film that for you. Now I'll make my bed like most humans do. Usually on a work day, my husband is still in bed, so I can skip making it because he'll make the bed before he leaves for work. Can't live my life or go to work without my phone, so gotta grab that. This is where laying everything out the night before really comes into play. been making this espresso and protein drink every single morning for probably like two years um, so I have this iced coffee concoction every single morning I really like it helps me get some protein in and holds me over until my first break
Now that the coffee's made, it's time to take my morning supplements. I take a variety of different vitamins, minerals, different supplements. Let me know if you'd like me to go more into depth on which supplements I take and I could make a video for you. So a close runner up to my favorite thing in the morning, which is coffee, is making my breakfast. I have this every single morning. Um, it's just a cinnamon raisin English muffin, toast it in my toaster, and then I put um, a couple swipes of butter on it and it's really tasty. So just like everything else, I had my coffee laid out, I had my breakfast laid out. I lay out everything that I wanna to take to work with me to, that day. So my cup, my drink mix, so I can just pop that into my little junk bag here. I also have my snack and my lunch set out, which is usually like a different tuna packet. Uh, today I'm doing the roasted garlic and herb tuna. I also bring a rice cake with me and also a little packet of the Justin's, I think that's cinnamon almond butter. Now it's time to put on my jacket. I grab my badge, I grab my keys, I grab my coffee and I grab my junk bag and I get ready to head out the door for the day. There's my morning routine. This is what I do every single morning to get ready for work. I try to sleep as much as possible and spend as little time getting ready so I can get out the door. So my goal is I set my alarm clock for 4.50 in the morning. I would like to get up at 4.50 because then I feel like I don't have to rush, but that never happens. I always hit my snooze button. I have to, have to, have to, have to get out of bed no later than 5.05. If it's after 5.05, I'm going to have a shit day. I'm going to be late. It's going to get ugly. So this morning, I was out of bed at 5 o'clock, which was great. 4.59, I should say. <laughs> it was at 5 o'clock. It was 4.59. So I got out of bed at 5 o'clock. I do also work as a travel nurse. I do local assignments. And that morning routine is a little bit different. No, I'm lying. It's not different. The only difference is that I wear different scrubs. That's pretty much it. Everything else is the same, except I don't take my junk bag with me. My junk bag is just for my permanent job. I bring a backpack with me that has like my stethoscope and my clipboard and all the like little stuff that I need for a 12 hour shift. So if you are interested, because I have been binge watching um, what is in my nursing bag videos. And I don't know, I mean, every we all, Nurses all kind of have the same like staples, but there are little things here and there that some nurses have that some don't. And I'm like, ooh, I need that Amazon. Okay, bye. So I do have a lot of, a lot of stuff in my in my nursing bag. So if you would like to see a video on what is in my nursing bag, I would love to share that with you. Please let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will film that for you, so you can see all of my nursing junk. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in 12 hours. Bye.